this is a platform then that we can leverage uh, to extend things such as warehouse management. Let's say you want to optimize your picking areas, uh, your picking stage or picking and stage areas based off of the velocity of product or the actual order requirement. Those are perfect candidates for machine learning uh, to be able to then make those types of recommendations. And what happens is that there's different algorithms, for example, inside of demand forecasting. Uh, ARIMA is auto regression, integrated moving average, exponential smoothing is ETS, STL is seasonality. Um, but basically what can happen is we can take all of this information that's inside of the system, put it out to machine learning, run multiple algorithms against that data to then figure out obviously what that actual algorithm or what the algorithm should be used to be able to have the correct value or the closest to accurate value um, that we can actually then provide. Um, we actually call that a mate value, a mean average percentage error uh, that really drives that information. On the master planning here, I'm going to go into my adjusted demand forecast. I'm going to go into my 29 item that I have right here as an example. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my forecast line details. So this entire calculation that you're seeing right here was actually done then by machine learning. And we can see, even though we have a forecasted demand spike that occurred, that machine learning is basically going through and telling us, you know what, I think you're gonna have this range of the actual quantities that are going to be needed for this. This is what we should be forecasting off of. And we can also force different things with models. So an example, is here too. If I go to this one and we take a look at this particular line to see the line details with it, we can then see all the information that's related to our history. We can also see the top end and low end of what the actual machine learning algorithms came back with to say, hey, you might have this type of a range in terms of that product requirement for your forecast. And we can also then see the forecasting model that it was selected for this particular item. So the system feels that this is a seasonal item and we can see more towards about July, from June to July, we do have a typical dip for this particular product that's kind of pronounced that we can see even from the historical information. So something to note is that it allows for you also to go through and change all these different dimensions, meaning I wanna forecast or calculate my demand plan based upon company and item number, or based off of group of item, or color of item, or what warehouse it's in, or what customer it was sold to, or what state it was sold in. I mean, these are different forecasting dimensions that I can dynamically go through and update to look at this forecast information and many different factors. And like I said, when you go through and generate this statistical forecast uh, for the baseline related to it, this is where then it's sending that information to machine learning to be able to then drive or generate this base statistical baseline forecast that we have within our system.